Welcome to another episode of Discover St. Cloud, Florida. I'm Kristen McCary, and I'm here with your host, Janine Corker, broker for Corporate Connect, a real estate company. Hey, happy last day of school, parents. <laughs> congratulations, and congratulations to all the graduates, yes. the high school graduates, St. Cloud High, Harmony High. Yep. Uh, I mean, heck, there's like probably even kids going to like Neo City, I think they've graduated. So yeah. a lot of places, uh, all the high school graduations took place last week. It was really cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had a rainy one. Very rainy for harmony, so um, that was that was fun, <laughs> but it was a good good time. Um, so thank congratulations to everybody there, and we are getting ready to kick off summer, which means it's time for our summer events. Oh, I can't believe that already. We're doing June events. That's crazy. Yep. All right. So why don't you kick us off? What do we got going on first? So don't forget that Gator, they do this, I don't know how many years they've been doing this, but this is quite um, the nice thing they do, Gator Week. And it started um, May 29th and it ends on June 3rd from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m., Wild Florida. And that is in Keenansville. That's really not that far, but it's no secret we know a thing or two about alligators to share our knowledge. And basically what they do is you make a, they have free admission, but you make a small cash donation during Gator Week toward Wild Florida Scholarship Fund. This fund helps Osceola County High School seniors pay for college while you get to experience a one-of-a-kind themed event with your family. It's kind of like, it feels like a shark week, but it's Gator Week. Gator Week, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, and then we have on uh, June 1st, we have Thrive Thursday, um, healthy cooking demos to the perfect exercise routine. Um, you can find the best path to a healthier and happier you. So if you're looking to get fit this summer, uh, join them on June 1st. Uh, 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. at Hopkins Park. And you can email parks and recreation at stcloudfl.gov and it is free. Interesting. Yeah. So this one is new, Towel Scarf Sewing Class. It's on June 3rd, 8.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. Location is Southern Roots Antiques, and which is at 1105 New York Avenue. The cost is $35 per person. And basically, um, it says, come make it sew at the shop. Come choose from a variety of patterns. Create your own towel scarf. These are convenient to wear in the kitchen all while grilling. In time... Uh, to also create a Father's Day gift. That's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Um, ages seven and up are welcome. No prior sewing experience is needed. All supplies, sewing machines, and materials are included. Free. Feel free to message the shop with any questions. Seats are limited, so be sure to go ahead and and give them. Reach out to them. That's Southern Roots Antiques. That's really cool. And I had to Google what a, what a um, towel scarf was because I didn't know. Do you know I what a just, scarf? Well, I'm going to guess. I don't know what it is, okay. but I'm going to guess that's something that, that clips on your belt tube and just hangs so you can wipe your hands. No. Look no. at this. <laughs> look at this right here. I'll show you. Here's a towel scarf. It's like an actual scarf that hangs around your neck. It kind of reminds me of the stoles from graduation. Okay. And then it has like the towels on the end. So is that what they're going to do? Okay. I guess we'll have to check out Southern Antiques. Yeah. Um, and see what they've got going on. So that's I would really feel cool. like it would get in the way, though. If that's going to have a long scarf and yeah. it's hot here. I know. I like my idea better. Just like having a dish towel on your yeah on your belt. Loop like when I go to film homes in the summer and I stick a towel in my pocket yeah. to wipe all the sweat away. Interesting. <laughs> that's awesome. So that's a very cool uh, event, and that's at Southern Roots Antiques. So that's cool. Downtown, go support downtown. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we have our first uh, vacation Bible school um, will be from June 5th through June 8th at the Harmony Community School that's put on by Harmony Community Church. Um, it's from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. during the week, uh, June 5th through 8th um, of this summer. And you can register online at harmonycommunity.church slash VBS. The next one is on June 10th, and this is for folks, especially folks, if, you just, if you're new to Florida, this might be very informative to you. For those folks that have already gone through Hurricane, we probably know most of this, but this is a good um, place to be. On June 10th, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the St. Cloud Community Center, it's a hurricane expo. Speak with emergency first responders, safety vendors, free prepar- uh, preparedness items while supplies last, evacu- evacuation plans, and educational displays, giveaways, and prizes. So that's on June 10th, 9 to 12 at the St. Cloud Community Center, and the cost is free. That's awesome. You know what's so funny? As I just saw a post, the, like literally, it might have even been this morning, um, about you know sending your kids off to college and like to pack a hurricane kit. Oh, I, and I didn't think, think about that. that. I was like, I'm thinking, you know, pots and pans to cook in, but not like, you know, a what, hurricane what, kit. And what do they have in it? Like, like like a flashlight, batteries, you know, maybe battery operated fan, um, hmm. that sort of thing. So just little stuff, like you know, emergency kit. That was not on my list of things. Oh, 
It's time to wake up. <laughs> oh, that's good. Leave that in. <laughs> <laughs> Silence your phones while filming, folks. <laughs> um, uh, and then up next is the Harmony Summer Market. So we're going to have another market in uh, Harmony. These are great events, a lot of great um, vendors that come out. Um, so come support the Harmony Market. It's on June 11th. From- I think that's the last one, too. For some, for is the, it? Yeah. For, it gets kind of hot. Yeah. Like we went this past, this last one in May. Um, I, well, I got to tell you a side story, but let me finish telling you about the event. So uh, June 11th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Harmony Town Square. Um, there are vendor booths available. It's $25 for a vendor. If you want to come out and have a booth and have people come check out your um, things, you can email harmonyactivitydirector at gmail.com. And now I got to tell you about what I bought at the last market. Mm-hmm. I bought a wreath, of course, because, you know, why not? Um, but I also bought this thing. It's like a banana saver. Okay, I know it sounds crazy. It's this contraption. I'll throw in a picture of it later. Um, but you basically lay your bananas in it and and the stems go in a little pool of water and you like fill it up with water. It is literally, I normally buy bananas and they sit on the counter and they're they're brown and mushy in like three days. This thing, I'm telling you, I could get like eight, nine days and the bananas are still good. And like I wouldn't think also absorbing the water through the stem. Through the stem. It's, it's like keeping it fresh, like as if it's still like flowers. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So I said, what what a genius idea. And I never knew. And even as they ripen, like they start to get a little brown on the outside towards the end, but the insides are not like, you know how they get like bruised and mushy and mm-hmm. like and and like mealy almost sometimes, mm-hmm. like when they get old and nothing. No, we haven't had a problem. Can We've I- actually finished all our bananas. Oh. I was going to ask you if I could have your old bananas. <laughs> If you're if you're if you're getting ready to throw out your banana, can you unpeel it and stick it in a baggie and put it in your freezer? Because I I like that for my shakes, and I like it when it's they're pretty ripe. Yeah, well you you might like this. Right. It helps you know get them ripe. So- I feel like they ripen sooner. So like if you put a bu- green bunch in, they ripen like almost overnight. It feels like, and then they stay they longer. stay longer. I got like eight days out of my last batch, and yeah. I was like, because you know sometimes your kids eat bananas. Sometimes they're like, I never said I like bananas, and mm-hmm. then you have bananas for a week. So anyway, that was my. I find at the Harmony uh, Summer Market. So go, come on and check it out on June 11th from 10 to 2. So then we have on June 13th, that's Kristen's birthday from 1030 to 1215 at the Community Center. It's a free movie for kids 12 of age and under. Um, children must be accompanied by an adult at all times. The um, movie is Finding Dory, rated PG, and then they'll have snacks available. The cost is free. That's awesome. Finding Dory's fun. I like that one. That's a good one. All right. And then we have Movie in the Park on June 17th from 8 to 11 p.m. Bring your blankets and chairs and join us for a night of cinema, food, and fun. Um, it's at Hopkins Park. Um, the movie will begin at sunset, so the time is an estimate because, you know, we're getting into summer months, so it's they're getting longer days. Uh, it's um, a free event, and you can email Parks and Recreation at stcloudfl.gov for some more information. And you should probably bring your bug spray, right? Definitely bring bug spray. Mm. I'm getting eaten alive already. Yeah. And let's see, the next one is on June 20th from 10.30 a.m. to 12.15 p.m. Uh, Summer Kids Flex, a free movie, again, for kids 12 and ages under. Children must be accompanied by all adults. And, th- and this movie will be How to Train Your Dragon. I like that one. Me too. That's one of Rachel's favorite movies. She actually told me that they're going to make that a live action movie. And oh. I was like, how do you do that? Like, how are they going to make live action Toothless? He's like the cutest, cutest dragon you've ever seen in your entire life. Just, I just, anyway. Um, so that's cool. Maybe I'll take Rachel. Do you think she'd pass as 12? Oh, no, mm. she can take one of our younger nephews. Oh, she could be the and then, adult. And be the adult. She could be the adult here. adult. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right. And then we have an adult movie matinee. Uh, this is for ages 18 and older. And we're going to be showing Down to Earth starring Chris Rock, Regina King, Chaz Palminer- Palmin- Terry, Terry. <laughs> And after dying before his time, an aspiring black comic gets a second shot at life by being placed in the body of a wealthy white businessman. Um, I think I actually saw that movie. This is an older one, I feel like. It was really funny. Um, so that's going to be June 21st from 1230 to 2 at the Community Center. It's a free event for ages 18 and older. And you can email Parks and Recreation at stcloudfl.gov for more info. That's pretty cool. Then on June 23rd from 1 to 5, we have Senior Appreciation Luncheon. Luncheon, a free event sponsored by CM Helping Insurance, includes local doctors, health insurance agencies, music, prizes, and lunch. Space is limited. Registration is required by June 15th. And yeah, that looks, it doesn't say, yeah, it says free event. Yep, that's pretty cool. 
Awesome. So uh, we have another Summer Kids flick, and this is, again, for kids 12 and under. Um, it is June 27th from 10.30 to 12.15. And the movie that they're going to be showing this um, this day would be The Princess and the Frog, yeah, which is rated G. That's a really fun one, too. Again, for more info, you can reach out to Parks and Recreation at stcloudfl.gov. So the next one is on June 28th from 11 to 1, and it costs $1 per person. It's Adult Lunch and Learn, focusing on social media safety and awareness. Registration is required by June 23rd to ensure everyone receives a meal. $1, that's not bad. It's in the Marina Banquet Hall. Oh, that's nice. Now by Crabby Bills. Yep. Um, and then finally, we have the Young Entrepreneur Market. So over the summer, uh, the St. Cloud Downtown Monthly Market, instead of being a traditional market, they turn it into the um, Entrepreneur Market, the Young Entrepreneur Market, which they did last year, which was really cool. So for vendors age 21 and younger, so if you're a young person and you're just starting out and you have a business and you want to get some your product out there, um, go ahead and reach out to um, uh, the Downtown Summer Market um what is it called? Downtown St. Cloud. I just totally yeah, drew that's a blank. okay. Well, they, they say <laughs> they have an online registration at uh, bit.ly forward slash summer market 2023. Awesome. Um, so, right. anyway, but it's really cool that they have put you gone the, to one? I did last year oh. over the summer. It was really cool because it was a lot of like younger people, you know, they're yeah, younger selling, than 21. Right. Selling their bracelets or their art or their cookies or, you know what I mean? Things like oh. that. So, it was really cool that like younger kids got to. I think they do that two months in a row. Do they? Yeah. In the, young, both the summer yeah. months. Um, so anyway, so definitely go check that out. Um, that is June 28th from 5 to 9 p.m. downtown St. Cloud. So it'll yeah. be a good time. It's always the last Wednesday of the month. Mm -hmm. So Yep. Well, I can't believe it. I can't believe June is already here. I know. That's crazy. I'm not, I'm not ready. Before you know it, it's going to be like, they're going to have Christmas trees up. Actually, they usually put them up in July, so we're not that far. So Okay. Uh, so a, a week to 10 days ago, I was at Hobby Lobby and they had a Thanksgiving section. I, somebody, my neighbor actually posted a picture of that and they were like, whoa, 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 I know, whoa, was, can we like, back to school is bad enough, but like we have fallout already, like, mm -hmm. whew, time slow down, slow down, slow down. So anyway, uh, lots of fun things happening this uh, summer in St. Cloud yep. uh, in surrounding areas. So go ahead and check out some of those events and thanks so much for joining us for another episode. Um, you can find us on all of your favorite podcast platforms. You can also check us out on Oh, YouTube. We're on Facebook, Instagram, all over. Yep. Um, and then if you have any other questions or comments, you want to give us a call, you can do so at... one eight four four St. Cloud. That's S-T-C-L-O-U-D. And you can email us at discoverstcloud at gmail.com. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the next episode.